Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to wire the audio cable for the CE19. My name is John, Amateur Radio Call Sign M7CPT. Welcome to Amateur Radio on the Air. Okay, recently in a number of groups I've seen people asking about how to wire the audio lead for the CE19 when using it with a G90. So let's have a look in the box and see what you get. Instructions CE19 Cable to go from the CE19 to your G90. Pull that there. You get three leads with stereo jacks attached and if it if we can get the camera to focus three stereo jacks. First of all, you buy an audio card and one of the common cheats that doesn't doesn't actually work is to use a stereo to mono splitting cable. Well, this doesn't work because the sound cards won't accept the mono jacks. What you need to do, I mean, to make it easier, I'm going to use the three leads. I'm not going to use the little jacks, I'll save them for another one. Put them over there. The first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to get the cable ties off. Get the sound card out of the way for now. I'm going to get two pieces of heat shrink. Place a red one on one. And a green on another for want of a better colour. Let's just shrink them down. That will allow me to know. So remember, the red is going to be for the microphone and the green for the speakers. If we look at the instructions, three jack line up, sleeve is the ground, then you've got AF in for the ring, and the tip is AF out. So, first thing I need to do is find out. What colour is the sleeve? Set the multimeter for continuity. Hold it onto the sleeve. And in this case, it appears to be the black. Check the others are the same. Black on that one. And black on that one. So black on all three is the sleeve. 
Let's just make a note of that. Okay, doesn't want to focus on the rain, but black equals sleeve. And the other two wires on the these two leads don't actually matter because I'm going to be connecting them two together. However, this third one, we know that black is sleeve. So let's see which one is the tip. Red is the tip, which leaves the white that should be, yep, the white's the ring. So let's see what we've got here. So all the blacks connect. And the white is the AF in, which needs to be the green wire, or should be the green wire, I think, with red as the output. Now I know which one is which. I can dig out the soldering gear and we can get to work soldering it. Okay. Let's join the red and the white of one of the wires. And you can see that's the red one joined up. Now the green one. Exactly the same. Join red and white together. the two blacks of the red and the green together and let's join them together let's give that a little extra Heat sink for that side. And let's slot some heat shrink on the other two. Okay. What I want to connect is the blacks first. I've already put some larger heat shrink on the main wire. So now I'll grip this a little bit further up. There should be enough solder there to join them. And unfortunately it's a little bit of heat's got onto the heat shrink. Should do fine there. I'll do it for now. And then which one is which? Uh, Red one to the microphone, so on AF out, which is red. Slot that piece over there. And 
again, we need to go carefully. I'll do that. Where's that piece gone? And the green one connects to the white. And that's how you do it. So now I've got the black one. It's going to go into the C19. And a red and green that can go into the sound card. It should be red to the microphone and green to the speaker. switch over again and do a test to see if it's working okay and for convenience sake I've already plugged the other end of this lead into the back of the G90 now it will only go in one way now, even though it says from the X105, we actually connect it to the, the G90. I'm going to take the audio lead that was the fully black one, plug it into the AF connector, make sure it's all the way in, and then we can put that out of the way. For the sound card, we have the microphone on this side, so that gets the red lead or should I say the lead with the red marker on and the speaker side gets the one with the green marker on plug that into your computer and we're ready to go <coughs> okay I've switched the radio on and I've also plugged in the um, cat control lead so all I have to do is fire up the software As you can see, I've already adjusted the settings on the radio. Um, I will do another video on that at some point. We have good audio listening. And now we just need to ensure it's transmitting.
Shop on the road, see. Please actually us. person there that's heard us. Let's give him a call. There you go. We have contact. What have I got? Minus 11 for a plus 9. Yeah. I'm on 10 watts. He's probably on thousands. So there you go, it works. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to click the like icon below the video. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified of when I do new uploads. And all that leaves me to say is, catch you on the air.